The last kind of redox reaction we're going to look at here is the single replacement reaction. This is where an element replaces a less active element in a compound. What do I mean by that? Well, if you take a look at reference table J, the higher up on the table the metal is, the more active it is. The lower down a metal is, the less active it is, which means that lithium can replace barium in a compound, but barium cannot replace lithium in a compound. So the more active metal will replace the less active metal. C doesn't do anything. It's called the spectator ion. Here's why. A becomes more positive in charge. It's oxidized. B becomes more negative in charge. It's reduced. But C just sits on its big fat pimply butt not doing anything. Therefore, it's just sitting there watching the action go down. And what do you call someone who watches the action go down? That's right, a spectator. C is the spectator ion. For example, potassium is more active than hydrogen. Potassium is more active than hydrogen. Therefore, potassium replaces hydrogen to form KNO3. Let's make sure the formula is written properly. Two Ks, two Ks. Two nitrates, two nitrates. It's all good. K starts off as zero, but it ends as plus one. So K0 is oxidized because its charge becomes more positive. H starts off as plus one. It ends as zero because it's not bonded to another element. Therefore, H plus one's charge went down. It's reduced. But the nitrate remained minus one on both sides. Therefore, the nitrate is the spectator ion because its charge doesn't change. Potassium gives electrons to hydrogen. This is much what happens in the battery. In a battery, you've got a metal which acts as the negative end of the battery because it's giving up electrons, and a less active element that's being replaced by that active metal as the positive end of the battery. The electrons leave the negative end of the battery, go through the device, and then go into the positive end of the battery. And the further apart the elements are on the table, the more voltage that battery is going to have. Notice lithium is at the top of the table. There's a reason why they use lithium in making the batteries that power your cell phone. Because lithium has more energy density for its mass than any other element. In the next example, we have magnesium replacing aluminum. Magnesium is a little more active than aluminum, so magnesium can take aluminum's place. So the aluminum goes off by itself, and the magnesium and the sulfate come together. MgSO4. Now let's find out what the formula is. There's three magnesiums, three magnesiums. Three sulfates, three sulfates. So that is the formula. Magnesium starts off as zero. According to the periodic table, its ion charge is plus two. Because it became more positive by losing two electrons, it's oxidized. Aluminum started as plus three. It ends as zero because it's not in a compound, so it has no charge. It gained three electrons to do this. Therefore, aluminum plus three is reduced, which means the magnesium will give electrons to aluminum. In a battery, the magnesium would be the negative end of the battery, and the aluminum would be in the positive end of the battery. For the last example, we've got copper trying to replace something. Now, this is a little bit trickier. We have to look over on this side to see what the deal is. Oh, we have silver. So copper must have replaced silver. So in our original compound, it, copper, copper, we had silver, AG, and we had whatever this thing is. This is called the acetate ion. Don't let it intimidate you. It's just a polyatomic ion. C2H3O2, just a package. One copper, one copper, two silvers, two silvers, two acetates, two acetates. It's all balanced. Everything's good. Copper is zero, becomes plus two. Because of that two there, I know the copper is plus two. Therefore, copper zero was oxidized. I can prove this. Copper is barely more active than silver, so copper can replace silver. The silver was plus one. That silver is only charge, and it ends up as zero. So its charge was reduced down to a more negative value. 
Ag plus 1 is reduced, which means the copper 0 gives the electrons to the silver plus 1. In this reaction, SO4 minus 2 is the spectator ion because its charge remains minus 2 on both sides. In this reaction, the acetate ion remains minus 1 on both sides. Therefore, C2H3O2 with a minus 1 charge is the spectator ion. I cannot stress enough how important it is when you're asked what species is oxidized and what species is reduced and what species is the spectator ion, you must put the charge in. Without the charge, it means nothing. You have to have the charge there. You have to have the charge there. Okay? So anytime you're asked about anybody who's oxidized or reduced, you must put in the charge of the oxidized and reduced species. And the only way you can know who's oxidized or reduced is to look up the charges and then decide who goes up in charge, oxidation, who goes down in charge, reduction. As our example of single replacement reaction, we've got two sodiums and a magnesium chloride. The sodium is more active than magnesium. Sodium is more active than magnesium. Therefore, the sodiums will take magnesium's place and magnesium will go off by itself, leaving sodium bonded to chloride and another sodium bonded to chloride, giving you that single replacement reaction.